Hi, I'm Angela. Let me take you on a design thinking tour of the Museum Starnberger Z. Now, this looks like the main entrance, but it isn't. This is the disabled entrance. To actually enter the museum, you have to go down some stairs here. And the fact that the entrance is confusing is a design feature that really should be improved. So that door is the disabled entrance, and there's a sign telling you to go down the stairs. Once you're down the stairs you find a really charming courtyard and a very stylish entrance. I was quite surprised uh, on my first visit. Now this map shows you the location of the museum. Uh, here is the main train station in Starnberg that brings visitors. Uh, and this is the main entrance that we just saw, but the walk is up a very steep hill on a busy street. Uh, this is a lovely entrance, but there are no signs marking uh, that this would be a way to get to the museum. So here's that second entrance that I was talking about. The um, train station is just here, and it's a lovely walk, but as I said, there are no signs. You would then go in the gate here. Um, it's about 10 meters, and you would find yourself again in that main courtyard. You can see the people walking up. And this would also be much better as a disabled access as well, because there aren't any stairs. The museum has two very distinct buildings. This is the old farmhouse. And you can see here the more modern, concrete, very architecturally designed building that houses the old shipping thematic uh, exhibition. And this is the hallway that connects the two different uh, parts of the museum. We talk about that later. So this is the foyer. It costs three euros to visit, which is really a very um, cheap price. To help me analyse the learning experience, I used a six-page English translation and I used the audio headset. It cost an extra 50 cents, although the lady didn't charge me. She said most people don't use it, unfortunately. It's only available in German language, though, the audio headset, and that's another feature that could be improved. So the audio headset works by punching in the number there and you can listen along. It's a shame people don't use it because the audio narratives are stories uh, using historical characters from the time and it's a really welcome relief uh, from all the written information that you're uh, encountered with in the museum. So much of it is text base, based so um, this audio headset is a really good feature but it's underused. The museum really should invest in translations. So the tour begins with a short film explaining the thematic nature of the exhibits. Here's a few slides from the film. This is the narrator of the film, a typical Bavarian man wearing his lederhosen there. He looks as if he's about to head to Oktoberfest. And then you head off uh, to look at the exhibit showing the historical uh, ships. As I said, there's too much text-based information and the um, walls are really dark. Uh, and as you can see here, there's white print on the dark black background and that's very difficult to read. Some of the text is too high for the younger school children who visit but they do have some interactive displays. This one, you press the button and uh, the object being described here is backlit. So this one is um, the second biggest ship that ever sailed on Starnberger Z that was built in 1668. Uh, then you head down these stairs to look at some rep um, original ships that are housed over here. There they are. This is a ship that was used by König Ludwig. You can see the nice uh, in 
interior. So going back to the text-based information, uh, the font is really very small and uh, some of this is uh, just too high for uh, younger readers. It gives you an idea of the type of text. This has been added on and the size of the text is a lot better and there is quite a nice audio that goes with that. Here again is that white font on the dark background, very difficult to read. This is a nice exhibit. It shows all the villas or the big historical houses that were built along the lake shore. You can see they have a model here and then there are descriptions of the houses above. It's very interesting and they do have uh, this stepping stool for the younger visitors. And there you can see it in a bigger view and a close-up. So this is Das Landhaus Zanetti. Here's the description, some old photographs and then the model represents the uh, house. And there's a close-up. It's a nice uh, exhibit. This is the original train station in Starnberg. Again, the models, I think, are quite fun and they work well. But there's a lack of uh, audio information in that uh, section of the museum. Uh, this is the hallway that I was talking about that connects the two buildings. So I've entered the um, new building, walked across this hallway and enter the old uh, section. You need to be careful. And they should write something about the smell here. There should be a warning. <laughs> because when you enter this building, there's it's an unintentional smell. It's really mu musty uh, and quite overwhelming. And the friend that I visited with was feeling a bit ill from reading that white text uh, on the dark background, but really felt quite sick and had to go and sit down outside <laughs> once uh, he'd entered this um, part of the building. Again, the text-based information. You know, this is a large room with exhibits. And again, you can see there's numbers here and then the text is on the background. Again, quite difficult for disabled people or younger children to read. And now we enter the historical farmhouse. These are typical Bavarian uh, dresses. They're really nicely decorated, but there's no information about them, only these small cards on the floor here. Some more musty old clothing. This is the text that explains uh, the clothing here, but the language in which it's written is really not interesting for school children. Go down the stairs. This is the original heating in the uh, farmhouse, the bedroom. These are the bed warmers. These would have been filled with coal and slipped between the sheets to keep your bed warm. But there's only, again, a very short uh, card explaining that. This is the uh, where the animals would have been kept and we're going into the kitchen. This is a fabulous old kitchen, but the information in there is minimal. It would be great if they had a more interactive uh, recording that had the sound of the fire and maybe if they could really overheat the room and add some smell, it would be incredible. But as it is, it's quite dull. You really have to use your imagination. And again, the way that the uh, text is presented, it's, it's not something that people, all people would want to read. Here's where the animals would have been kept. And we're ending the tour now, and we go back out into the courtyard. And this is the tree that König Ludwig apparently planted in 2012. And I think that ends the tour. Uh, but my third section uh, really describes the changes that I would make.
Thanks.